Well, police are trying to piece together what appears to be a deadly home invasion. Two intruders busted into a home, but one did not make it out alive. Yeah, News Channel 5's Bob Jones live on scene right now at Hilbish Avenue in Akron. So, Bob, what are you learning? Well, Akron police continue to conduct interviews and collect evidence from this very bizarre case that all unfolded around 2 o'clock this afternoon on Hillbush Avenue. That's where one of the suspects was killed after he was shot by the homeowner inside that house behind me. We've learned two men burst into the home. Three people were inside the home at the time. Two women and a man who is a homeowner. At some point, the homeowner grabbed the gun and shot one of the intruders. He was found dead from a gunshot wound to the head in a yard two homes away. The suspect son, the uh, second suspect that is ran away and he still hasn't been found. While detectives were investigating, the father of the homeowner showed up and he was frantic. Police officers, including police chief James Knife, tried to calm him down before he had to be tackled. He's a former Summit County Sheriff's deputy identified as Mike Hillis and he was arrested for misconduct during an emergency. The whole scenario and chain of events was very scary for a 12-year-old girl living right next door. I thought it was firecrackers, then police started coming down and it was gunshots and this guy in this blue shirt started taking off and then I didn't know what it was till the police came up. Must have been pretty scary. Mm -hmm. What did you find out later? Anything? Um, uh, somebody died. And right now, Akron police tell me they are continuing to search for that second suspect. In the meantime, detectives will review all of the evidence from this case and determine if the homeowner was justified when he shot one of the home intruders. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.